Flying Fish 4 from MP winner Danny Kaka is the latest installment in his arcade action high score series that revolves around the bear and the fisherman, both just trying to get their dinner. Concepts don't really come much simpler than that and the gameplay throughout the series has always been similarly easy to pick up as well as to understand and this one's no different. But in this new one things have escalated a little bit as Danny Kaka finally delivers on his promise to do flying fish in space and it doesn't disappoint. As with each entry in the series, the general goal is just to catch as many fish as you can, but mechanically this is based off of the paranormal propulsion template from Super Afro Boy, and it really is great to see these kits get used to create brand new experiences. Anyway, back to the action, eh? Your bear has a jetpack, and pressing X will propel you in the direction of your choosing as you explore the stars for your dinner. Once you find a fish, you use L1 or R1 to try and suck them in with your special magnets before delivering them back to your base to get your points and become a true fisherman's friend. It's all simple enough, but you have to manage your fuel as well, and the more fish that you carry, then the more those heavy little blighters will affect your jetpack's power to propel, meaning you'll use more fuel to travel shorter distances. Then as time passes, some anti-space fishing ships, otherwise known as the ass, will spawn and they'll try to put an end to your exploits as well. It all escalates in such a glorious manner that it's constantly asking you to make these risk versus reward decisions on where to go, what to catch, when to catch it, and all layered with some high level Twitch based retro gaming skills. I constantly find myself finishing one run, then instantly starting another with thinking of, oh come on, just one more go. Because I know that with maybe just a little bit more luck or with a little bit more skill, my score could definitely be improved. And talking of scores, by the way, the Flying Fish series has always had competitive scoreboards. I will never forget the unofficial co-op world championships of Flying Fish 2, where all the power couples of dreams got together to compete. But at this time speaking, I am currently number two, behind only Danny Kaka themselves in Flying Fish 4, so I would like to take this moment to challenge any of you to come and join the Flying Fish 100 Club. Come on.